That's a lovely scarf. Thank you very much. That is nice. She never says that I wear nice scarf. No, I was just about to say, perhaps you should take some tips. Tips from, do from Dr. Mohan. Do scarf swap. But you know what I've realised? Because Noreen and Sobia, they're female females. I don't know where this is going. Well, even the way she wears headscarves, she's more in tune to her feminine side. Or, you know, I'm not a feminine, feminine person. I think she protests a bit much. I think there is a woman in there. there it's slowly coming oh, yeah. out. It's slowly coming out. <laughs> when you were wearing a skirt, it yeah, couldn't walk. Did you see her? No, I couldn't walk. She said, I can't wear trousers, they're all in the wash. She was walking like that. <laughs> it's a long skirt and it doesn't stretch. She tried to sit down and she was like, <laughs> so difficult. <laughs> what can I do for you today? I'm here first time in UK, uh, from Germany. Okay, yeah. Uh, one more thing, I put a uh, ring. Is it the ring for that you put up for three weeks and then remove? No, no, it's or? just for three years. Okay, but so it's more like a cord. I want to then, remove yeah. that one. Okay, yeah. The new one. I was... A new one put in. Okay, right. So the one that we fit here in the UK mm -hmm. is vaginally exactly the same, but this one is fit and forget for 10 years, so actually you don't have to do anything for 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. So I have to pay for that or it's free? No, on the NHS it's free. Oh, good. Um, and have you had any new partners in the last six months? Oh, I have here a partner, yes. Is it a regular yes. partner? Yes. Yeah, how long have you been with this partner? Six months. So about six months, six months, lovely. Have you had any swabs taken since the new partner? No, 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 no. no. Because he's a new partner within six months and you've not had any swabs taken, I could give you a tablet which would cover you for any sexually transmitted infections that you could have had. Because if he's had other partners, even before you, if you've not had any swabs and you don't know if he's passed anything to you, it would be worthwhile if you agree. I would take some swabs, but I would give you a prescription for um, an antibiotic, one tablet, which would, if you do come back with anything, it's okay that I've fitted the coil because that tablet will protect you. Yeah, okay. Is that all right, yeah? So if you want to pop your bottoms off and lie on the bed, okay? Well done. Right then, with your coil, first thing that I have to do is pop two fingers inside so I can feel for the neck yeah, of your womb. Course. Yep. Um, and then we'll take your coil out and put your new one in. Knees bent for me. That's it. Ankles together. So perfect. That's it. Oh wow! Well, well, well. well done. Ah. In you come. Thank you. Have Thank you. You've got to go somewhere. Hey, yes, I've got to. Uh, well, I'm having a lot of trouble with my daughter. Oh. And uh, her marriage is breaking. Oh, dear. It's awful. Mm. And you pop in to see her, are you? I'm going to see her, see if I can help her. There we go. Your blood's a little bit low at the moment still. Have you missed any of your tablets at all? I think I missed one. Did you? Sometime last week when I was all upset. Because I've got a box, you see, with yeah. the things in, and I picked it up to take and looked at it, and I thought, oh, I forgot yesterday's. I'd say, I think it was on the Tuesday. Right, the OK. So you've had a whole week of time. So we're going to have to put your dose up again, <clears> all right? So you're going to go up to five and a half every day. Right. And unfortunately, I am going to have to see you again next week to make sure that it's back where it needs to be. That's all, right. all right. Yeah. I'm getting so old. No, you're not. You're still a spring chicken. No, I wish I... <laughs> I'm 80 next birthday, and I... Yeah, well, that's no, no age these days. No, yeah, that's what my brother said. It's not physical. I'm all right. It's mentally, I forget things. Yeah. And... Awful. Have you been to see anybody about that? I was going to the memory clinic. Yeah. And something was wrong. I couldn't get there. I think it's important if your memory is going, if you feel that it's not doing what it used to do, that you should go to this memory assessment. Perhaps you could get somebody to go with you. See my daughter, but I don't like to ask her because she's, you know, asking. But she might be only too pleased to help. 
Oh, she would help. Yeah, so perhaps it's worth having it done because they're really good. What I've do had, they do? They test your memory and they ask you things and they see whether, you know, you're oh. forgetful or what what's wrong, whether there is anything majorly wrong or if it is just, you know, just... A, Old age. Yeah, <laughs> as, think, as we get older, we don't remember things as, uh, as well as we did. I think that's really important because it, it, it can put your mind at rest that you're not going... Balmy. <laughs> <laughs> so if we say 10 o'clock? Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. You'll probably have to come back to the doctor to, for them to re-refer you to that clinic if you've missed the appointment. And do you remember things from a long time ago? Mm. Not things that have happened perhaps that day? I bore my grandchildren, I tell them <laughs> things that happened. I can go back to when I was three, four yeah, years old. No, but that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting. Yeah, I will definitely yeah. go. Yeah. OK. All right. Thank you very Lovely much. to see you. I'll see yeah. you next week. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So that's that one done. All right? Oh. <sighs> You're doing really well. I'm just going to give a clean. All right, mm, love. Yeah. So what do you think of the UK? Ah, I love UK. Like yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> German, I lived there 22 years. I was born in India. Oh, right, OK. In Germany, you must pay for this coil. Do you? How much would you have had to pay in Germany? Three, four hundred. Three, four hundred for the coil? from two hundred. Oh, OK, for the coil in Germany? Because they need uh, children. Yes, they children. need children in Germany. Oh, OK, yeah. so it kind of... also, you have to pay. Really? Yeah, you can't do this. I'm going to put some jelly up there. It just helps numb the area all right, so it's not painful or anything. You might just feel a little bit of pressure. The next one is where you might feel a slight period pain, and that's when I'm measuring the neck of your womb all right. So just nice and relaxed for me. Big, deep breath in through your nose and just out through your mouth, but nice and slow all right. Perfect, well done. That's it. One more of those and you're all finished. <laughs> so that's what ours looks like. So it's slightly different. Oh, okay, okay. But it lasts longer, which is good. Yeah. Okay then. So same again, nice and relaxed for me. Perfect, well done. Excellent. Oh, well done, you did really well. Done. All done, well done. Yeah. Okay, all done. <laughs> you got a bit of cramp pain? A little. It's OK. If you feel OK, you can get yourself dressed, my darling. You were very good. <laughs> Thank you. So there you go, then. Today's day and the follow-up. Is that all right? Yeah. So downstairs at the um, pharmacy, if you give them your name and your date of birth, they'll give you the prescription. Okay. All right, then. Thank you very much. Right. Right. Nice Follow Gemma out that way. Oh, sorry. Straight on and turn left. Yeah, okay. thank you. Very All much. right, thank, thank you. you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.